Welcome back, everybody, to season six of my of uh, little, 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 the gaming completionist. Uh, if you're not familiar with this channel, uh, it's, it's, it's a let's play channel. Obviously, I play through a game with music in the background, and every season. I do a mix comprised of some of the songs from this season, from that current season, or previous seasons, any song that has showed up. And starting off this season, we're going to be playing through Clock Tower. Also known as Clock Tower The First Fear on PlayStation, it's a really old, really amazing uh, survival horror game. It's a point and click survival horror game. and. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot to cover with this game, quite honestly. Uh, pretty soon I'll, I'll get into it and actually show you the storyline, but for now, the season's opening track, and this game's opening track, is by Rushla, I believe. I think, yeah, Rushla. Russia. Russia. My bad. <laughs> Anyways, the song's titled Transylvania. What fitting song. <laughs> actually, only, like title really anyways really amazing track which you can find off of his ep titled voices which came out in 2012 i think you can find it on beatport and probably other places it's really cool one of my favorites it i mean listen to that shit so much tweaked out stuff anyways let's get right into the game okay game starto now this game only came out in japan for snes playstation and uh, wonder swan which is a portable device i'm going to turn down the music a bit so we can actually hear it and you can see the story as it unfolds um yeah normally this would be in moon runes but i found a rom which was translated into english so now we're playing through that one and sadly it's only the snes version PlayStation version has better audio, better graphics, pictures. Um, it has a couple extra rooms in the mansion. And a few other things, I think, too. But I can't quite remember what. Yeah, that's the chick that we play as. Her name is Jennifer. She's the one on the left. Miss Mary is the, uh, I guess the, the, uh, owner of the orphanage or something like that. So she's bringing you over to the mansion. Which you can see right there. It has its own little clock tower, which is <laughs> appropriately named for the game because the game's called Clock Tower. Makes sense, doesn't it? I think. I don't know. Wow, what a mansion. Now this game's core mechanics are uh, point and click. You, <laughs> you point to where you want her to go and what you want her to check out. There's only certain things that you can click on, obviously. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. There's a button called the panic button that's on the controller. And when I tried to play through like a quick little bit of it, it didn't seem to work out quite well. So I don't know if it's broken or I don't know. I'm just hoping that it's not broken. Okay, so button. I'm gonna talk to this first chick. Hey, Ann. Oh, that's her name, Ann. You wanna know what kind of guy Mr. Barrows is, right? Yeah. It, that's it? It's just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. And you're not gonna tell me anything. What is it? Is something wrong? This house makes me uneasy. It's because it's a giant mansion. Giant mansions make me uneasy too because it always feels so empty and dead inside. <laughs> I doubt I'll ever get to get used to this place. Hmm? 
Eh. Well, that's paranoid. Is that it? I guess that's it. Now we talk to her again. Mary. She's taking a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? If you really want to. Now the entire point of this playthrough, since I've played it multiple times, I'm going to be going through each of the endings. There are... Oh... A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Eight endings. I had to count. <laughs> I'm not good at counting. Oh. Ooh, perfect timing for that window to open. Girls? Come on, this isn't funny. Oh, it totally is. No, it's not. It's actually pretty creepy. Alright, so let's turn on the lights. Now, when we do fully explore this room, which we don't really have to, I think, you'll notice that there's really no place for them to have gone. So, yeah. They just kind of disappear, to be quite honest, and it's weird. Okay. So what I'm going to do to get ready for uh, the shit that's going to be happening or for the best ending, I'm going to pick up some key items. One of which is up here, which should be a rock, I think. And you'll also notice that she's moving very slowly. I'm conserving her energy. Uh, basically, throughout the game, there are chances where shit can go very, very sour. And I have to mash on the panic button, which is a button on the controller. I don't remember if I mentioned it. But, uh... Yeah, mash on that, and uh, it reduces her energy level. After using it a few times, you'll notice that the picture on the lower, lower left-hand side turns red. Uh, red means danger. So if I were to run into an issue, she dies immediately. So I'm really trying to conserve my energy. Uh, the run button, if you were to run for a extended period of time that also runs down her energy uh, a lot of things like jump scares and stuff like that can reduce her energy also um oh god I'm trying to think what else there is like there's a lot of jump scares in this game for instance this picture that I highlighted uh, sometimes it'll turn so there's blood pouring out of its eyes and there's like ghostly phenomena that happens and sometimes this isn't a jump scare but uh, one of the key items is usually in this box but I guess this time it's not I don't remember where else, where else it could be um fuck <laughs> that's not a good thing to be quite honest with you It's not in there. I don't know what else. Okay, in this room, I know that no matter what, there's always, like, perfume. And I think a robe. Take the perfume. It smells like Miss Mary's. I guess that was it. Okay, in this room, there is a birdcage that you can see on the side. Now, at some point, I have a chance of actually hiding underneath the bed. But if I were to do that with the parrot in the cage, the parrot will, you know, say, She's under the bed! and She's under the bed! Get her! Shit like that. And as you can hear, it says, I'll kill you. Not very fun. So what I'm going to do is just mash. Well, not really mash on the button, but... Try to get her to actually go over here without panicking too much. And use the sheet on the bird, hopefully. There you go. Rock that shit. Oh, you didn't use it. Use it. Good job. So now it won't be a nuisance. Okay, 
at this point I'm going to do a save state. Okay, let's see. What, I'm, what am I forgetting? I can show off one of the jump scares. Now this is one that I tried to b do before and use the panic button on it, but for some reason the panic button didn't work. Okay, that's panic mode. That means the button or the picture is flashing and we have to mash on the panic button to escape it and live, but for some reason it doesn't work there. Which is weird. Normally it does. At least it does on the PlayStation version, which is the one that I'm used to playing on. But it hasn't been translated, sadly. Oh no! That was bad. Load. There we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Okay, now to continue on. Uh, let's see. Got rid of the parrot. What else is there? I know there's something else. I think I need to go to the bathroom. It's been a while since I actually played this game, to be quite honest. Oh, yeah. We can hear shit going on. Now, this is a point where we actually have a choice to, you know, actually check the bathroom or just walk on. Doesn't matter which way that we go, uh, bad shit happens either way. <laughs> But stopping in here first is actually most beneficial. Uh, why is why is it turned to red? It shouldn't be red yet. I'm gonna save state. Maybe the game glitched. I don't know. So let's open the door. Oh wait 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 whoa 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 stop. Stop what you're doing. Stop. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Fuck. Keep the door open. Oh, you dumb hoe. You dumb hoe. You're gonna die. <laughs> shit. <sighs> and then cue the psychopathic midget. Oh, shit. Wrong button. <laughs> that was the fast forward button. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, that's automatic death. <laughs> because she opened the door. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Okay, this time can... Maybe not. So we gotta get her to keep the door open. Keep the door open. Thank you. That saves the most time. <laughs> wow, that was no bueno. I don't remember how we figure out what this dude's name is, but his name is Bobby Barrows? 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. But, uh, yeah. He's the psychopathic midget. Oh, I should also mention that this game gets confused for the first game in the U.S., or the second game in the series, which is just titled Clock Tower for PlayStation. Her energy should not be in the red! Oh my god, this is complete BS. I'm hoping that I don't run into him. Chances are I will. going keep going bitch don't take your sweet ass time keep going i'm really hoping that this game is going to be really nice but i don't think it will come on baby get up those fucking stairs go left go left go left go left go thank you Oh, fuck you, phone. If we answer that phone, that normally triggers off a terror bad cutscene. You're supposed to get the... F okay, fuck it. There. No, 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 no. Get in there. Fucking wench. That's the door we wanted. Um, 
Um, no, 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 no. Get in the, get in the room. Get, get in the room. Get in the room. Yeah. Go to the right. Go, 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 go. No. What are you doing? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. The panic button doesn't work. The panic button doesn't. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Oh, you're kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. Why does it not work? I don't understand. It, sh it should have worked. It should have worked. This is bullshit. And while she's in here, she's not going to want to, uh... Rest, so I'm gonna try to go back out. <sighs> okay, you know what? Tell you what, come on back next time where I hopefully have enough energy to continue on. And I'm hoping that the game's gonna be nice. So, yeah, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, come on back tomorrow, and I'll see you then. Take care.